In this video, you'll see how to set up locomotion for VR using Meta's Interaction SDK. A quick disclaimer, if you're trying to set up locomotion for avatars using the body tracking API of the Moment SDK, then you should check out this video over here, as the setup is slightly different. However, if you're building a VR experience that just uses hands or controllers, then this video is for you. Alright, so let's get started. Here I have my Unity project open, which has been set up with the latest Meta Interaction SDK, which is version 64. It has also been set up with all the player settings. You can also download this starter project from the GitHub link in the description below. Let's begin by seeing how to set up continuous locomotion. Now it does not matter if you have set up your scene with the OVR camera rig prefab or with the building blocks. The steps are going to remain the same. For this video, I'll be using the OVR camera rig prefab. So here I have an empty scene. Let's delete the main camera and in the project window, search for OVR camera rig. Select the prefab and add it to your scene. Now this comes with a tracking space which has uh, tracking for your headset, left controller, right controller and your hands. But if you play the scene right now, you'll be able to see your virtual environment but not your hands and controllers. So to see your uh, controllers, let's search for OVR interaction. Add that inside the OVR camera rig and once again search for OVR controllers. Select it and add it inside OVR interaction. So now if you connect your headset using Link or Air Link and press play, you will be able to see your virtual environment and your controllers are tracked and animated as well. Next, let's add a virtual environment and skybox. For that in your project window, search for large room, select the prefab, add it to your scene and then search for skybox gradient and add this material to your scene. Now to set up continuous locomotion, create an empty game object and call it as player. Select the OVR camera rig and drag and drop it inside the player. Select the player and add a component called as OVR player controller. This automatically adds the character controller and we are going to modify its uh, parameters right now. We want to set the radius as 0.1 and we want the height to be 1.5. We want the center in the y direction to be 1.5 by 2. Also make sure to reset its uh, transform. I think the OVR transform also has to be reset. So make sure uh, the transforms of the OVR camera rig and the player are at zero. Next, if we see the OVR player controller, this also has a lot of parameters. So acceleration tells you how fast you'd like to move when you press your joystick forward, back, left or right. Dampening basically is the value which will slow you down based on whether you're going forward, backways or sideways. So there are two different parameters you can use. Now the jump force uh, has not been mapped in this script. If you'd like to use uh, jump force, then you need to write your own script, which detects any of the button press. And based on that, you can use the function here and make it jump. Next, we have the rotation amount. So this is the speed in which you rotate if the snap rotation is unchecked. So if you have the snap rotation checked, then it's going to snap rotate. And the rotation amount is defined inside this parameter. So 45 degrees is what is going to rotate about. And then we have the parameter rotate around guardian. Now this is deprecated, so we don't have to worry about it. Next, the fixed speed steps defines whether you want to have a linear motion or whether you want to go faster as the time increases while you're moving forward. And then we have the gravity modifier, which modifies the gravity. Basically, it tells you how fast you're going to fall down. And the parameter use profile data tells the script to use the actual user's height and uh, change the character controller's height automatically. And then enable linear movement and enable rotation basically lets you move and rotate. So if you have them unchecked, none of the joystick functions are going to work. You're not able to move forward or rotate. And the last step here is to select the floor or the ground and add a box collider so that you don't fall down. And now if you save your scene, Press play and test it out. You can use your left thumbstick to move forward, back, left or right and your right thumbstick to rotate left or right. However, you can see that there's some offset in the rotation. Now you can fix this by selecting the player, selecting the OVR player controller and enabling rotation around guardian. So now if you test it, you can see that the offset is no longer there. I'm rotating in the exact same position that I'm there. One more thing to notice here is that the character controller uh, interacts with the collider that this table has and so I'll not be able to move forward or I'll not be able to go inside the table. Alright, so that's it for continuous locomotion. Next, let's see how to set up our scene for teleportation. Here, I'm going to duplicate the OVR camera rig and unparent it from the player. Select the player and disable. Alright, so for the OVR rig that we have, open the OVR interaction, open OVR controllers. Now to add teleportation, in the project window, search for locomotion controller interactor rule. Open the left controller, open the right controller. Select this prefab, drag and drop it inside the controller interactors of both the controllers. Next, right click on the left controller 
and create an empty prefab, call it as controller feature and add a component called OVR access tooling. Next, duplicate this and add it inside the right controller as well. Select the controller feature inside left controller and let us select left touch and let us have the 2D axis as primary thumbstick and primary touchpad. Now for the right controller, we want to set it as right touch and we want the 2D axis to be the same primary thumbstick and primary thumbpad. Next, open the locomotion controller interactor, teleportation interactor, teleportation active and state, active state and here inside the active component, drag and drop the controller features. Inside the deactivate as well, we need to drag and drop the controller feature inside input axis. And finally, for the selector, once again, select the controller feature and drag and drop it inside the input axis. Now do the same for the right controller. Then select the controller turn interactor under the left controller and we need to add the 2D axis here as well. So select controller feature, drag and drop it over here. Select the controller turn interactor under right controller and drag and drop the controller feature in here. Next, select the OVR controller, right click on it and create an empty game object. Let's call this as locomotion and add a component called as player locomotor. It needs the player origin, which is going to be the OVR camera rig. So drag and drop it in here. It needs the player head, which is going to be the center eye anchor. So drag and drop it in here like this. Next, select the locomotion controller interactor group and this needs a handler so this is going to be inside the locomotion drag and drop it here similarly select for the right hand and drag and drop the locomotion inside the handler and now for the final step select the flow and add a component called as teleport interactable and this needs a plane surface so add another component called as plane surface make sure the facing is forward Select the plane surface, drag and drop it in here. It does not need a box collider, so you can disable this. Alright, so now let's save our scene, press play and test this out. And now you can either use your left or your right controller thumbstick to shoot the teleportation ray. And once you leave it, you're going to get teleported over here. This is super cool. Now you can use your uh, right controller joystick to turn left or right. Same thing with your left controller as well. So it's interchangeable, you can either use your left controller or your right controller to teleport and look around. So in this video, you saw how to set up locomotion for controllers. But did you know you can use your hands to teleport as well? If you want to know how that's done, then check out this video over here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.